Hey guys, we're Sick and Roms here today with a new video on how to make your own Minecraft 1.9.6 server. It is a pre release and uh, let's get started. First off, we're going to want to do the client download for anyone who just wants to get on a Minecraft 1.9.6 server. I'll have the link in the description box below. It'll bring you to AdFly, just wait 5 seconds. You can ignore the ads and I got it right up here in the top right. Skip ad. Mediafire did update or change whatever, so click on the new thing right down here where it says download, and it'll be 2.14 megabytes. Save file. Does that pop up? What the hell? Clear list. Well, Alright, so now minimize that. Minimize. Sorry for all my stuff. Alright, now go to your start menu and type in percent app data percent. And then press enter and if you have anything older than Windows 7 then make sure to find wherever your run is where I honestly don't even know where mine is so I'm just gonna type in run so yeah your guys's will be a little easier and then just type in the same thing and press enter now you're gonna come up here to where it says dot minecraft double click on that double click on Ben and then find where you had the minecraft right here put that in there and replace your old one move and replace so now anyone that just wants to play on minecraft 1.9.6 can play on minecraft 1.9.6 servers now if you wanna own like if you have your own server and you wanna make it 1.9.6 go click on the second link again I'll bring you to adfly and you can just wait for it it's not a problem there's no survey and again the same thing sorry my dog's freaking me out alright now you can X out of that X out of that and minimize that alright so now we got it right here I already added it into a new folder just so I can make the video a little shorter but anyways just put the minecraft underscore server into a blank folder nothing in the folder at all and then open up that folder and double click on the minecraft underscore server none of this op server whitelist band players band ips and world will be there yet just double click on it and it will start up the server yours might take a little longer than mine well actually mine's taking pretty long even though i've already started it oh uh... i'll go over the server list again so we got allow nether all that allow the nether is like the hell allow flight that's for people if they want to allow people to use a fly mod or anything server port just keep that as default unless you want to run more than one world at a time then you can go into detail about that some other time server IP if you use Hamachi like I do just put your Hamachi IP in there let me just pull up Hamachi so I can show you guys it's right up there where it says 5.54.135.214 that's my Hamachi IP and for people who don't want to use Hamachi, uh, I think I know how to do it, but yeah, not really sure. Anyways, whitelist, that's for people who only want, like a pri it's pretty much a private server. You choose who you want on there. Online mode, set that to true. If you want only premium users who bought the game to be able to play, set it to false. If you want anyone to be able to play on it, which it will run in an unsafe mode mine doesn't say that because I'm not running in an unsafe mode and difficulty PvP self-explanatory message of the day forsaken realms gives the best tutorials for Minecraft and World of Warcraft anyways now we can get on caught a little bit of cold alright so we just go to multiplayer, direct connect, type in the IP that you typed in for that. And it should bring you right to Minecraft. As you can see up in the top left, Minecraft Beta 1.9 pre-release 6. Uh, I did read something that there is a door glitch right now for wooden doors. Like they can only be opened by redstone or something. But they said it's just a little bug right now and it'll be fixed shortly. So I guess it's probably good but I don't know I'm not in creative mode so yeah anyways guys this is minecraft 1.9.6 tutorial brought to you by forsaken realms please subscribe if you liked the video and it helped you out have a good day guys Give me a
funky ass bass line.